Hey everyone, uh, Frank from Star Wars Autograph News. Um, hope you're all having a great day or great Valentine's Day so far. If uh, something you're into, and I hope you have your uh, I love you, I know moment today. Uh, I wanted to pop in because obviously there's been a lot of news coming out about celebration. We're getting really close now, so we have a lot of uh, you know guest announcements and autograph sales are now live. Um, so what I wanted, we just looking at feedback that I've seen in, in my group and other groups uh, in the community, um, what would make a good celebration hall for you? What is it that excites you? What is it that makes you feel satisfied uh, about a celebration uh, autograph hall? Um, there's, you know, I see a lot of comments, official picks did it better, um, a lot of nostalgia, which is great. All right, but at the same time, we don't want to live in the past. So what is it that would make a good uh, celebration? Or what is it when you know you see names or prices, first time signers? Uh, please be objective. Let me know because I'm, I'm working on something and this would be a great help for me. That, that's why I'm asking this question. What makes a good autograph hall to you? What are the um, objective, measurable components of a good autograph all or is it more of a gut thing something that you um it just feels right it's a vibe uh all of this is going to be helpful for me as i'm kind of putting things together um one just for the history of of celebrations that you know i've been working on for a long time now uh but also you know we're all going to be in line for these autographs and the person behind me, I want, I want to have good conversations and I don't want it to be all, you know, it was so much better back in the day. I was there back in the day, it was really good. We know that. I mean, I want to have a good experience at this celebration. So I want to start a conversation about what is it that you hope to see? What is it that you're disappointed in now? All right, um, again, objective. If uh, Complaining for the sake of complaining doesn't help me. It doesn't help anybody. It's just complaining. What is it that you're disappointed in specifically? Because that I think that we can kind of see what actually does make a very good autograph hall. Um, it's like two months away. We're all going to be down there. I can't wait to see everybody. It's going to be a great time. But uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in your your thoughts. Uh, I, this will be my sixth celebration. Uh, I've been to celebration five, six, uh, Germany, Anaheim, Orlando, and this one. And they were all good in their own way. There were some that were, celebration six wasn't my favorite, but I loved it because they had a lot of behind the scenes actors. So that stood out for me. Um, last, uh, the last time around they had some, you know, big, you know, Felicity Jones and Forrest Whitaker, names like that, and I love, you know, love, like a lot of you express, I loved Rogue One, so that was, it was great, it was a med. So it was a lot of science from a movie that I enjoyed. One thing for this one, like celebrations back, the original three celebration was celebrating the release of the prequel movies. It was something specific, it was celebrating, that's why they had these events. And now we have the 20th anniversary of The Phantom Menace, in the 20th, so also the 20th anniversary of Star Wars Celebration. We're not seeing a lot of prequel actors yet. There's some, but I'd expect to see at least more from uh, The Phantom Menace. So that's one thing that for me, that would be a marker for me. I, I would expect more, you know, this is the 20th anniversary of this film. In addition to, you know, there's new movies and films, obviously, but um, so, that's kind of one of the things that I take away. And of course, the uh, you know actors that I wouldn't expect to see anywhere except for celebration. I'd like to see some of those, right? Um, anyway, so that's I, I've been thinking about this a lot, and I really wanted to get your thoughts on for you what makes a good autograph hall. Right. So that's your question for the day. Um, sorry about the background in my office. I'm at work and. Uh, the windows are up, but um, so that's it. So I hope to get some good feedback from you about your thoughts on this. Uh, and uh, that's it. I'll catch you guys later. Uh, thank you for listening to the podcast. We've gone to a weekly show now. 
Uh, thank you guys for listening. We've had uh, great feedback. Uh, we're going to do weekly shows about an hour each instead of a monthly show that could be over three hours. Um, thank you for those who've been listening to since 2013. And thank you for all the support that you've given us, the feedback. We, we love it. Um, thanks again. So we'll be having a new a, another show next week, hopefully with some new uh, guests. There'll definitely be new celebration guests announced next week. Tops has already confirmed that. So a lot to talk about. And uh, again, look forward to seeing you all in uh, Chicago in a couple months. All right, guys. Take care. And may the force be with you.